Thanks for joining everyone. If you have any questions, please use the raise hand function. We'll get round to it as many as we can. We're going to start with Sky Sports News. Roger Clark, unmute yourself away you go, Roger. Hi, Thomas. Congratulations on the win. Um, can I ask you, first of all, uh, Timo Werner involved in the first goal, did a lot of good things, but well, he got that second goal. How important was that for him, do you think? And do you think now he's got it, that could open the floodgates and he will start seeing him score more regularly now? Yeah, he would not be the first striker um, who has this, uh, where it is like this, because for the strikers, it's like, the last, the last uh, percent of uh, percentage of of confidence and of um, of belief come from goals, from nothing else. But he worked hard for that. He was in the last game already decisive with assists and with, um, winning decisive penalties for us. So again today, as an assist and the goal, and this is uh, super super important for him. And I'm, I'm happy because he, he, he put in a lot, a lot of effort, hard work against the ball. And uh, so now it was, I think, a big relief, but we saw it coming. Is there an update on Tammy Abraham? We saw him go off with, with an injury. How is it? Not, not, not yet an update. It's, uh, of course, get worried because we need to take him off so early and uh, after, after a hard tackle. So we are worried, but I have no news so far. Hi Thomas, um, you were showing uh, the referee something on your iPad at half time. Was it was it to do with Tammy Abraham's uh, injury and the tackle in the boxing? Yeah, it was the, the tackle, but he, he I, we didn't know that he's not allowed to watch, so he didn't look at it. So uh, my assistant tried to show him on the iPad, but he told us that this uh, is not like this. He cannot watch and cannot be influenced like this, and that this we totally respected. But we had the feeling that this uh, reckless tackle, he played the ball, yeah. But uh, for me, it's too much of a risk uh, that the defender takes, that, that he risks too much of an injury of, of the opponent. And for, for me, it's, uh, it's because of that, it's a, it's a foul because it's, it's reckless. But, uh, OK, I, I'm not, it's not was not like to, to criticize, was just to discuss with the force official. Hi, Thomas. Well done on the win. You've got a back into the top four for the first time since December. So is that the ultimate goal for you this season or will you, will you be looking to push even further? Well, we, we will never stop pushing because, like I said said before, there's no other way. We stepped in in the middle of the season and then, then taking it step by step and, and game by game. We knew, of course, we had the other results. We knew that this can be uh, on the big step for us, that we really also see it. If we win today and, and we be in the top four, we have absolutely the season. But I can only tell everybody it's still still a long way to go. There are many teams very, very close. We have a lot of games to play. We have a lot of uh, big teams to play. And there are many points to win. And and, and that's why this is... Now it's for me important that we take two days off and we, we recover mentally and, and physically. And uh, and then prepare 100% uh, Southampton because it will be the next the next challenge. You know very well that we play in the most difficult league in in Europe. And uh, what, right now it's a, it's a it's a fixture, but but what counts is the fixture in the end. And uh, there we have to keep. Going. Thomas, can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, um, hi. Um, I, the, it looked like the hard part for you at Chelsea was going to to get get the team back into the top four, but you've you've done that very quickly. So I'm wondering now whether the hardest part will be to stay there. Sure. Sure. Nobody, nobody, nobody can say when we when we when we started if it was would even be possible because there were a lot of points behind behind Liverpool, many teams between us and and, and the fourth place. So it was clear that it's not only in our hands and that we need also results on other pitches to 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 close the gap. Uh, and this was the situation when we started, and from there on we spent it absolutely. No minute, not one minute, to think about the other pitches and the other teams and the situation in the on the on, on the fixture. 
we only we, we spend it every minute with the team uh, to focus on us to, to 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 prepare matches because we play in the in the toughest league. We need to be ready every three days. We had different competition, uh, d d different competitions, and we still are in three competition. And there is normally okay. It can be a reward now today to to look on the fixture, but but it cannot distract us from from Thursday on. There will be there will be the only focus. How to how to be ready for Southampton and no no other thing will be allowed and I think that my player know this very well. Uh, we worked hard for this momentum. We, the players worked incredibly hard to to win all these games now in a row, and it will not stop. This is the bad news. It will not stop. And uh, but the good news is everybody is prepared for that and everybody signs for Chelsea to to have this competition, and it's the challenge now to keep on going. To, what we can look at is our performance, our determination, and our hunger, and we will not allow anybody to to do it with 99%. Last two questions, Tom Hamilton and Miguel Delaney to pitch. Hi, Thomas. Um, just wondering on uh, Christian Pulisic. Um, Christian Pulisic today uh, was on the bench, didn't get any game time. I'm just wondering what you want to see from him heading forward to kind of force his way into the team. Well, today was a was the first the first change was already made in the first half from 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 injury and uh, Christian was a was a was a very um, tight decision if we if he starts again for us after the cup game or if he comes from the bench. So we decided for another eleven to start, and unfortunately we only have three changes, which, which uh, makes it very very difficult to 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 give time to the players to to let everybody play what they deserve normally and and uh, to have an impact also in, in 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 with big tactical changes or fresh legs so that makes it difficult because the third the third change you don't want to lose too early uh, okay and so we did like what we always do in the middle of the in, the, in during a match we only think about what can help to win the to 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 win the match Christian absolutely deserved to start. He deserved to come in, but I have only three guys that I can use, and I hope he keeps on going. And he will be—I'm absolutely sure—he will be an important uh, input for us, an impact. He will have an important impact for us in the, in the future. Last question, Miguel Delaney. Hi, hi Thomas. Um, okay. Just looking on a bit, uh, the Champions League starts tomorrow. Um, and it feels particularly open this year. Now, I know you, you'll probably say you're not looking past Atletico, but it, it does. It, it is a competition that rewards spring form and teams coming at the right time. I mean, do you feel Chelsea are well-primed at the moment for that, or how are you looking at it in that regard? You need, you need, to, ask me, you need to ask me next Monday. You need to ask me next Monday if we are prepared, and I will tell you, and hopefully I will tell you that we are prepared and we will... We will do everything to, to to go through, but you know very well that that Atletico are the are, are top in the league and by far top in the league in Spain. They are one of the toughest teams to beat, and and still this is the challenge. Uh, this is a uh, this will be a two a two match uh, elimination game, like like you know very well. And uh, first of all, we will we will now focus absolutely in Southampton. And uh, the best the best way to arrive in a Champions League game is with a good performance and hopefully another win. And when we will do this, then we will see on Monday on who can we count, who is ready to play. And uh, yeah, we are we are we are self confident enough to to say that we are that that we play these two games to to go to the next round. But it will be super, super hard. This is absolutely clear. Okay, that's all we've got time for. Thanks, everyone.